hi guys thank you so much for tuning in i know it's been a while since i last posted a video but i plan to post more in the next coming weeks as always i thank you so much for watching and please if you haven't please hit the like and subscribe button video will be a honest review of all apple cases i'm an apple enthusiast but i will be unbiased and brutally honest on which case i think is the best for a long-term use case So, as you may or may not know, Apple offers three different options for cases. They are the silicone, leather, and lastly clear. All three options have their pros and cons, and I will go over each very shortly. They also have different prices, which I will go over as well. So with no further ado, the first one on the list is the Apple clear case. So. Your first look at this case, it may just look like your usual clear iPhone case, but if you're like me and you're into details like I am, you'll notice things such as the MagSafe ring on the back, the opening on the bottom, the almost flush buttons, and the minimal feel it gives once you place it on your phone. This case is available on Apple's website for a price of $49 which can be a little costly for a clear case for the average user. It can also be purchased on other sites such as Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, etc. I mentioned before this could be too expensive for some as you can probably find cheaper options that would get the job done as well. Now for the pros. The feel, I mean it just feels great in the hand. A lot of cases in general tend to add a bit of bulk to your phone and for me I don't care for the extra bulk as I already have small hands. It works out perfectly for me because with me going with the iPhone 14 Pro Max this year it allows me to add another layer of protection without adding much bulk to an already large phone. Next is the overall look. Um, it maintains its clear appearance which other cases tend to struggle with. I mean guys, let's be honest here. If you're purchasing a clear case, I would think that it's in an attempt to show off that nice color that you chose for your iPhone. No one wants to experience the yellowing effect on a clear case that you mostly get with other cases. Well, I know for sure I don't. <laughs> I can tell you personally that I know you would not have that experience with Apple clear cases. For my last pro is its overall functionality. I love the way it has the MagSafe range which just Overall fits into my life perfectly as I tend to use a ton of MagSafe products such as my Apple Wallet, Spigen MagSafe car phone holder, and my MagSafe chargers that I use frequently. As far as the buttons are concerned, they are okay, they could be better, but are doable. And now for the cons. The fingerprints, to be honest I don't like the look of fingerprints being left on the back of the case while I'm using it. This may not bother others, but for me, I keep my Apple cleaning cloth on hand so that I can clean it once it starts getting unbearable for me to look at. Kind of for me is the overall design. For as long as I've bought Apple cases, the clear cases have had open bottoms. In fact, all Apple cases used to come with open bottoms up until recently with the iPhone 12 lineup, which brought bottoms, if you will, to both the Apple leather and silicone case. And with the clear being the only option left with no bottom, as I said, I really love Apple, but I will be unbiased and say that I do think it would be nice to see what a new case design would look like for the clear case, Apple clear case. So my experience could just be mine, but I will still share. So when I first received my iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple on release day, first thing I did was travel to purchase an Apple case per usual. I actually had a hard time choosing which one to go with, believe it or not. I ultimately chose a clear case because I, for one, wanted to try something different, and two, I wanted to show off this pretty color. <laughs> Sadly, after its first drop, it cracked at the top, which caused me to not really want to use it anymore because I didn't like the look of it any longer. So I stopped wearing it for a couple weeks, and then when I put it on again, it took another drop, which caused the damage at the bottom of the case. So my experience has been a little shaky as far as durability is concerned, but nonetheless, I still think the Apple clear case is a nice case for anyone searching for something clear and minimal. All right, so next on the list is the silicone case. So 
out of all of Apple's cases, the silicone case is usually the case I buy more of. Um, they usually offer a wide range of beautiful, vivid colors to choose from, which excite me as I like to match the case with my wallpapers and even what I wear daily. It can also be purchased on all of the sites mentioned before for a price of $49 just as the clear case. I absolutely love Apple's silicone case and plan to continue to purchase for years to come. Now for our pros and cons. I'm going to switch it up and go with the cons first. The biggest con is the peeling that tends to happen over time, whether short or long, and the fact that for some reason the right corner of the case always tends to take extra damage which causes the case to deteriorate at a quicker rate. The second con is that on some of the darker colored cases, smudges show up more which is annoying for a person like me that doesn't like to see the smudges. For example, on the Elderberry case which has a dark purple and almost blackish tint, the smudges show up pretty clearly. That short list sums up the cons for me. Now for the pros. Nothing beats the variety of colors that you can choose from to personalize your experience with your iPhone. Like I said before, the colors are always so vibrant and unique which causes me to purchase multiple to get a different visual experience with each color. Next is the overall feel. The feeling of a brand new Apple silicone case is amazing. It has this great new feeling in the hand and over time the grip gets better and better, which is a really good thing. If you have more grip on your case, you are less likely to drop it while it's on your phone. It even has like a nice new smell to it as well when you first open it, which I love also. The buttons are nice, tactile, and easy to press. The speaker cutouts are very precise as well. The MagSafe functionality is also a pro as well. When you place your phone in the case, it has a nice MagSafe color option that matches the case, which is very aesthetically pleasing. The MagSafe magnet is very strong, which works for all of the MagSafe accessories that I mentioned before. All right, and lastly, Apple offers their leather case, which I love. The leather case gives off a more luxurious experience. It can be purchased for $59, which is $10 more than the previously mentioned clear and silicone case. It also comes in multiple colors like the silicone case. Not as many, but you do have options. The pros for the Apple case for me is first, the appearance. As I said, it looks more expensive as it actually is. The buttons are different from the silicone case. They are metal and they blend very well with the colors of each case. Another pro is the patina effects that you get to witness on the leather. Over time, the color changes based on general wear and tear on, and kind of like the oil from your hands also plays a role making this case to become your own beautiful masterpiece. It has the MagSafe color animation I mentioned before and it works very well with all MagSafe accessories. Cons are the slippery feeling it has when you first get it. The only other kind I could possibly think of is the price of the case. It's 10 more dollars than the others, which I'm sure for $60 you could find a better leather case that would give a better leather experience. I've seen other reviews of this case, which has been said that there are other leather cases that beat this one. I personally have only used Apple's leather case, so I really can't speak for that. So. I'm sure by now you're wondering which one is the best Apple cases to buy. Well, to answer that question, and this is just my opinion, the best Apple case to buy is the Apple leather case. I say this based on overall durability. The leather case is equipped to withstand whatever for however you would like it to. Another good thing that I didn't mention is that Apple offers a one year warranty on all their cases, which is why you were seeing double in all of the cases mentioned previously. I was able to go through Apple and get replacement cases for all those that took damages. So there you have it folks. The Apple leather case wins in my book. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe and let me know which one is your favorite. See you next time.